This conference will now be recorded. That's motivation. Okay. Fine, guys. So this is just an overview. If you want, you can take a snap. Okay, or I can share this with you. So the very first thing is configuration. Okay. So we need to have this configuration in place. Then we can go ahead and create our master data. And then we can go ahead and do our transactional data. Transactional data is running your end-to-end -end cycle, like order creation, release, GIGR. And then we have different strategies we will see. We also have a subcontracting process. We have the batch management, batch derivation, batch, sorry, batch determination and batch derivation. Okay. And any other topics which um, I think is important, I will add it here and we will cover it. Okay. So let us get started. Gurpit, have you tried logging into the system yet? I will. I will try after this class is actually. Okay. So everything fine, right? You are able to log in. Or oh, you have not? I didn't get actually. No, you will try. You said. Yeah. Okay. This, so anyway, this is your ID I'm using right now for this class. Uh, Surya, have you taken your uh, access, or will you take afterwards? No, sir, from Monday I'll be taking. I'll be Monday I'll be taking. Fine, fine. So, good with what we are doing right now is with your ID itself. So mm -hmm. the access is fine. You can just check by yourself in okay. your system. All right. So the very first configuration from the production side, we will go in the production node. So we have production and we have production planning for the process industries. Okay, these two are, so the production will be for discrete okay so let me tell you about the industries we have in our manufacturing so we have discrete we have repetitive we have process industries okay more or less they follow the same procedure but master data and configuration is little different between three okay so the discrete is something which is uh, used for the regular items as in if you are making um, your phone manufacturing okay um your laptop manufacturing anything which is regular items is falling under discrete um if you are making any car okay and car is like a repetitive work for one model they follow the same procedure so that will that can fall under discrete and that can also fall under uh, repetitive okay but if we are manufacturing anything which is a medicine or um, any food product okay or any juice those things will fall under process industries because they will follow some recipe you cook anything at your home so you say a recipe right a recipe for making chicken a recipe for making juice recipe make a recipe for making a pizza so similarly in our sap system we do have something called recipe okay so we will see that as well so under production we have different options so we have the basic data okay and we have the production planning capacity requirements mrp which is material requirement planning and then the demand okay and then comes the shop floor activities under shop floor activities we have everything for the bomb for the routing and for the work center all right in the basic data yesterday we have already seen some of the settings which i have already explained okay. 
control data okay so number ranges yesterday i told you so if a customer wants a number series like one series two series three series that can be done using the number ranges okay and these settings are not relevant so it's fine so define material type assignment so similarly the same settings i told you regarding the bomb so if you are creating any custom material type so in standard we have finished good as fert fert raw material as roh and uh, semi finished as halb hull okay so if the client says that i want something which starts uh, with their identity or as in z z fert okay or z fin finished product and if you create a material type that will be done by your mm team but to create a routing okay to create the operations required for those finished product we need to go and assign it so this number 2 denotes master recipe so i was talking about the recipe so the task list the routing is also called as task list so the task list number 2 is for master recipe okay this is important for us and then we have routing and it denotes as n so if you have anything which is z you need to come copy this line okay and then you need to mention if you don't mention the we don't have option of marking as a star here okay we need to manually add all right so you copy this and then you say that your material type is z fin if you have something like that so that if you create a routing system will allow if you don't do this setting system will say that routing is not allowed for this particular material type is that clear uh, harish uh, can you tell me like uh, what exactly is routing hmm okay we are coming to that it's a master data okay it's a master data for our manufacturing process so routing will have operations okay so if i take example of a car manufacturing okay car manufacturing will have different steps so it will be um, like um bringing your entire body which is non assembled to the shop floor okay where the manufacturing should happen so bringing the body to the shop floor can be your one operation okay and installing the windshield you have glasses right so windshield will be your one operation installing lights can be another operation installing tires can be another operation so the final product after doing 10 different operations is created okay so each and every operation is uh, maintained as a routing so we, when you club all the operations it becomes routing so similarly if you are making any food item all the recipe okay so um, if you if you make chicken so you bring chicken uh, and then you marinate it right so marination will be your one um, operation or we say at a phase so every food item we say as phase and every uh, discrete industry we say as operation this is the difference operation and phase between process okay. industry yeah. between different yeah. uh, discrete industry so after marination one phase is completed okay then what you do you put it in the oil and then you start cooking it okay. right even before mm -hmm. marinating you can say washing washing is one phase marinating and then you cook okay and then if you have any instructions in cooking as in you cook at so and so temperature you cook for 30 minutes you can maintain that and then after cooking you put put it out in in the napkin for drying okay and then you can eat or if you are selling that item you do the packaging right mm -hmm. so all this operations how do you map in the sap is a recipe or a routing for a phone industry 
you will bring screen you will bring battery you will bring casing and then you start assembling it you can't assemble at like uh, one go right you it will be a step process you first assemble the battery you then install the uh, semiconductors or whatever inside the components right yes then yes. only your finished product is created so every step that you follow to make one finished good okay is a routing for you understood got it got it fine understood so we have two options we either have master recipe which is two or we have routing as n okay so we need to maintain under routing if we have a custom material type if we don't do we can't we can't create a routing for them or a recipe for them so similarly usage bomb usage we had so one is for our production three is for universal all right and these are not relevant right now so one and three we are using mostly so i, def I told you about the control key okay control key is very important item in our routing or um, recipe this is common for both if you create a control key you can either use in master recipe or you can create in routing as well okay let me explain you once again so in standard we have a lot of control keys and their description is written here so mostly used is pp01 if it is a process industries we are using pi01 process industry and pp these two okay pi01 or pp01 okay and there are few other options which are available which is pp02 and 3 also so once we are running the cycle i will tell you the difference between all these so just for the note purpose you can maintain as pp01 pp03 uh, pp01 2 and 3 and here pi01 2 and 3 okay and let me go inside and show you what information do we have so if you remember i already explained you this yesterday if you want to schedule an operation you can go ahead and put a check mark for printing and for any confirmations milestone you can put it here and if this particular operation okay for paint job you need to send it to external vendor you put a plus sign here Okay. All right. I think here we are done under routing. These are not relevant. In this topic I will try to cover at the end sales and operation planning. okay so under this production planning we have the um, the bigger topic okay from where our production process starts even before manufacturing okay so think logically if you want to manufacture okay so one fine day you just can't get up and say that i will manufacture my uh, phone or i will manufacture my coca cola or any xyz item right you will look for what you will either look for the demand in the market what is in demand then you do the production or if you are already running your manufacturing activity how will you anticipate that how much do i need to produce per day or per month to meet my customer demands right this is the main thing so in manufacturing we have either make to stock that we keep making uh, the items and keep it in the stock for the customer requirements or we say that we get an order from the customer and then we start manufacturing it that is called make to order so for example a make to stock item will be your phones okay so phones are not that costly but it is used regularly and it is ordered by most of us every day okay a coca-cola bottle 
okay so coca cola manufacturing company will not think that i need to produce uh, 50 bottles or 100 bottles per day they will just manufacture every day because the consumption is high all right um, for make to order scenario all right what can be the item a maybach car okay or a bentley car which is not highly in demand only few people will say that i need a maybach i need a bentley or i need a lamborghini or whatever okay so those companies are waiting for the orders so 10 people ordered and then they will manufacture only 10 pieces because they are highly valuable materials okay so in sap if there is a a business requirement that they only do production after the customer order hits we have a strategy for that okay and if it is a make to order sorry make to stock we have a different strategy for that okay i'll show you how so if anything which is make to stock we have to maintain the demand of that right so there is called demand management topic in a pp production planning and we have planned independent requirements we say as pir so in the interview questions you mostly get asked like what is pirs how do you maintain and uh, what strategy and how the strategy will consume the pirs so when you manufacture your demand should come down right if you have a demand of 100 pieces and you manufacture 50 pieces so for 50 pieces you produce the demand should cut so how those things will sap do it by themselves or itself um, is something which we need to understand right now okay even before we go in the production so requirement type and requirement classes okay these two are the driving factors of your demand management or pirs okay and we have the planning strategy i said we have a strategy for um, make to stock and make to order let me open any notepad so we have mto we say as make to order and strategies are 20 50 we are going to see in the system okay mts which is make to stock strategies are 10 11 and 40 okay so this 40 is a special strategy which also considers our sales orders it considers uh, sales orders okay this is the difference between 40 but it is still called as make to stock all right and we are talking about pirs now so let me go in any strategy right now so i told you about 10 11 20 and 50 and 40 okay so 10 is called make to stock production and if you look here it is called lsf and ksl what is ksl it is a if um, any customer demand comes it is denoted as ksl there is no full form it is just defined like this these are your uh, requirement classes and requirement types okay so see the screen and we go back here so we have seen lsf so we have bsf lsf okay so from here the lsf is going there okay so this is make to stock for strategy 40 it is vsf here planning with final assembly for strategy 11 it is bsf b for boy 